Portsmouth police responding to a distressing call Thanksgiving morning for two female dogs. Hello once again, I'm Dan Jane. And I'm Emily Bowles. Heartbreaking animal cruelty case from last month. Remember these two dogs abandoned on the side of the road on Thanksgiving Day in Portsmouth? Well, those two dogs were rescued right here at the Gardner 70 Sports Complex. Police don't know how they got here or where they came from, but only one of them survived. And my brother said, there's something over there. We were scared. They were lucky a coyote didn't find them. We decided to call the Portsmouth police. They were here within 10 minutes of the phone call to get the, um, pick up the dogs. And that's when we found out that they weren't little puppies like we thought. They were bigger and emaciated. When they picked up the dog, the brown one, we could tell they were in really tough shape. So, um, and then the female officer came and picked up the white, and um, it was just very sad. We started to, some of us started to cry and had to walk away. It was shocking to, just to run into something like that, you know, and I've never seen, you hear about it, you read about it, dogs that are, you know, abused and not fed and dropped off on the side of a road, but I've never seen that. So for me, and I think for most of us, it was just a shocker. You know, it was, um, it was just a shocker. <laughs> huh. Yeah, but she's doing good now. She's doing good. I remember going to see her. She was in her kennel. She was just sort of a, a little standoffish at first. She seemed maybe a little confused. I think she'd been through a lot, right? She'd been abandoned. She'd gone to a veterinary hospital. She transferred to us. But I just sort of sat in front of her and she just, she was very shy and tentative, and, but she, she wanted to make contact with somebody. And to get her healthy again was really about our veterinarian taking over the case, being very cautious about you know, monitoring her health. She had uh, blood work done regularly, checking her weight regularly. Every animal that comes in the Potter League's shelter receives just exemplary care. It's so gratifying. I think for everyone involved to see that whether it's Gracie or any animal go from really being in distress to being not only well, but happy, friendly, loving, and most importantly, in a new home. What we all knew is we wanted one of us to be able to adopt the white dog if it survived and just become part of our walking group. Potter League's great. I think if you have an animal that's in distress, and you need help, that's the place to go. There is a resource out there and it's just a phone call away. So take advantage of it, you know? It'll help the, the animals and it'll help you. Helping your animals will help you, so. Um, she just, you know, she loves to be around everybody. She's very, very friendly. So it's really rewarding at the end. People think that we saved her. He says she saved us. So in a sense of the gratitude and of having her, so. It makes you feel there's a reason for you to be on this earth. It's, you know what I mean? You're, it's giving back. And I think that makes everybody feel good.